Hey guys, it's me Tessa Blaney. Blaney. And we're back again um, today. We started off today by going to a car show in Destin, Florida, nearby our home. Um, we saw all kinds of pretty cool uh, cars there. We saw some Lamborghinis, some Fiaris, um, all kinds of different things. There was um, a total of three Teslas there. Is my Model Y, and we had two other uh, Model Threes next door, next to us. Um, Luis and John, shout out to you guys. Thanks for uh, meeting me there. We're, we're gonna do it again. Um, anyway, so we came home after the the um, time that we had there, and now we are gonna jack up this car, and we are going to paint the um, calipers. We're gonna paint them blue. For some reason, I like the color blue. I don't want to do red like what the performance models have. Um, mine is a non-performance model, but. Anyways, we're going to um, paint it blue, and I figured I'd uh, make a little video of that and show you guys how I did it and how it works out, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so stick around. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like I said, we're going to do more videos like this. Whatever um, updates that Tesla comes out with, hopefully sometime soon, we'll get the um, full self-driving beta version, maybe, <laughs> as um, everybody else kind of ho hopes that they get it. We'll just keep doing videos and, and do whatever kind of updates come out and whatever we do to the car or anything that goes on with the family. So please hit subscribe. Please like the video down below. And uh, just check out this um, paint caliber job that I'm getting ready to do. All right, guys. Thanks. All right. So we got the jacks. I got some blankets. Here's what the wheels look like without any paint. And um, so we got a little bit of before, and then I'll show you guys some average. So let's get started. All right guys, so here I got the jack adapters. As you can see, I got four of them. Uh, you gotta put it, make sure it's gonna fit on top of your jack, but before you do that, you're gonna pop it up underneath and we'll jack it up. that there yes I do have a small jack but it should work good enough for what we need to do Hey guys, so we had to make a quick stop. Um, my old style floor jack that I have, um, it, it's not gonna work. The, um, the part that goes up against the pad was too small of a diameter and it was going crooked on the um, jack pad. So I put the car back down, we're heading over to Harbor Freight and I'm gonna go get a bigger floor jack now. And, uh, and I feel a lot safer by doing that. So let's check it out. All right guys, so as you can see, I got a little bit better jack this time than my old one. Um, this one here has got a bigger platform here to fit right on the pad a little bit better. As you can see, this, this one fits a whole lot better. So I feel a little bit safer doing this one. easier to jack up too. As you guys can see, I got all four wheels up on jacks. I would put my jack stands right there for the back. I'll show you guys the front here in a minute. If anybody cares, this is the jack I got at Harbor Freight. It got it on sale for only $59. Comes with that big old handle. 
I'm leaving the jack under there just tight so it'll help save it a little bit and under here is where I put my jacks in the front as you can see seems like they're all gonna work all right well got the first front wheel off didn't take much to get the lug nuts off my breaker bar a little simple screwdriver you take the cap off set the tire over to the side and uh, it's pretty simple nice and clean I think I might go ahead and even rotate the tires since I'm gonna have them all off all right so I got the paint kit here the brake caliper paint system set I went with the um, blue it comes with the um, brake cleaner this here is the um, G2 paint that it comes with I believe this is the uh, hardener that I'm gonna have to pour in there and I'll read the directions on it, it comes with um, the brush and the stir and this is everything you get in your kit so right now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to spray down all my uh, brakes get it sprayed down and then tape them off all right well got the paint mixed up I went ahead and, and added in the hardener you have to leave it in there for about five minutes um, I got it in there I stirred it it's been been about five minutes so now I'm getting ready to start painting it on it says to put it on a thin coat um, your first coat I'm gonna go around and do each one and then I'll come back around and I'll do a second coat and then after that um, then I will it should be dry enough I'll put the stickers on I got a I got a, um, a clear coat I might spray on it later on and then and then I can jack it down it says don't drive the car for about 24 hours so. no one's ever gonna see down in there you know what I'm saying I don't need to get too far down in there I think I like the blue what do you think John I think it looks pretty good all right guys so I um, I put two coats on it I went around as you can see I think it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't quite do everything in the back. I didn't see any point in it because no one's going to see it. You know what I mean when, when you're driving around. So um, I got two coats on it. I do have the Tesla stickers, the logos I'm going to put on it. I think I'm going to wait maybe another hour or so so it's kind of um, dry to the touch before I go to put the stickers on. And then I do have this um, clear coat um, spray to put on it to help protect the stickers a little bit. I'll read the instructions on it, put that on. Um, I'll get the tape taken off, we'll jack it up, get the jacks out from under it, put the tires on first, and um, then I can't drive it for 24 hours. That way it gives the um, paint long enough to cure and um, see what it looks. But so far I'm happy with it. The paint went on very thick. I got I have paint all over my hands. You can see it's still on my fingernails there. Um, in order to get it off, I used a brake cleaner, sprayed a brake cleaner on my hand and got it off pretty good. Um, but it, as I was painting, my fingers were getting stuck together because of the hardener and stuff inside that paint. But overall, it's pretty simple. Um, tried to do it in the shade like I did here. And um, that's about it. So let me um, let this thing dry a little bit more and we'll continue from there. Thanks. All right. Well, it's the next day. I have um, already put the wheels back on my car I jacked it down back the car back up plugged it in for the night came out today um, the wheels look great I'm still gonna wait um, probably about another four or five hours before I drive the car just for the fact that uh, I want to give the paint enough time to cure um, I think it looks beautiful the um, the blue the um, it's a gloss blue it looks um, really shiny I'm, I'm happy with it uh, one thing I did learn and um, like I'll tell everybody I'm not a professional I'm just showing you what what um, experiences I go through when I'm putting on different things on the car but one thing I made a mistake after I um, I put after I let the paint dry for a couple hours because it did say that the paint would dry to touch in two hours 
I proceeded to try to put on the Tesla logo. I have these white stickers. I tried to, um, I want to put one on there. And so, you know, you take your transfer tape, you put it on the sticker, you cut it, and then you go to stick it on the um, caliper, and then you gotta peel off the transfer tape. Well, it grabbed a hold of the paint and um, pulled the paint right off the caliper. It was horrible. I. Um, Luckily for me, the paint, I, I still had plenty of paint left in the can and it wasn't dried up yet. So I was able to go ahead and put a, a couple more coats of paint back on that one caliper that I attempted to uh, put the stickers on. And I have decided to simply uh, not put the stickers on right now. I'm going to wait a few more days. I'm going to let the paint give get plenty of time to cure I might wait probably about three days from now and then I'm just going to jack up one wheel at a time take it off put the sticker on put the wheel back on and put it back down so um, maybe in one of my other videos I'll show you the the stickers after I put them on they're just regular Tesla um, logo stickers and I'm gonna put them right on the caliper and um, so yes I made a mistake do not attempt to put the stickers on until the paint has plenty of time to cure. Most people probably know that. Um, I thought it was dried enough and I'd give it a try, but that the transfer tape was awfully sticky and it just didn't work. So the G2 paint kit, um, once again, yes, I'm very happy with it. I think it worked out pretty well. Um, it, it took me, I don't know, probably um, three or three about three hours from the beginning to the end um, I I know that when I started the jacket I, I quickly realized that the old school um, floor jack that I had was not gonna work so I had to stop luckily um, Harbor Freight was just right down the road from me um, about two miles down the road so I was able to go down there and luckily they had one on a um, with a coupon for $59 so it works good um, I don't use a floor jack all the time so I figured buying one from Harbor Freight will be just fine um, but yeah it worked it worked great for the, um, for the yesterday for me to jack up the car so no issues there but um, yeah it, it took about three hours total uh, I took my time going around I had to tape off the um, brake pads and all that kind of stuff and um, took my time painting I put two solid coats on it and no issues um, so far anyway so it's it's um, see what happens after a week of driving and and going through the car wash and everything like that so anyways guys um, once again please like this video if you liked it um, hit subscribe um, I'm doing everything I can to um, keep getting the videos out sometimes we go through some little dry spells where there's not much going on and I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna make up some kind of stupid video just to send it out there and um, and keep them going but anytime I have anything significant any updates on the car or anything like that I'm gonna create a video so um, please subscribe um, I appreciate you um, if you've already subscribed thank you very much and um, until next time guys stay safe wear a mask have happy holidays try try to um, stay safe on the holidays uh, just guys it's um it's still crazy out there with the whole coronavirus so once again stay safe and uh, until next time keep driving have fun i'll talk to you later thanks